Hello, so buddies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Temi Tayo, and in this video, I'll be showing you the sewing parts of the previous basket skirt design that we drafted. So, if you are yet to see the first part of this video, kindly visit the channel and check it out. I'll also be dropping the link to the first part of this tutorial in the description box below. But for now, let's go to the sewing machine. I added half inch for the upper part and half inch on the lower parts. This is the folded part and I cut along with the lining too and this is for the band. I cut two of the band because I'm going to be using one to turn the other one. That is one will serve as lining. So I used Ankara for both. I repeat same thing for the back pattern too. So half inch on the lower part to join to the basket and half inch on the upper part to join to the band and I cut the same thing on the lining too and I also do the same thing all for the band. The first thing to do is to measure the dart length on the pattern paper. I don't want to assume any measurement so that is why I measured. So here I have 6.5 inches so I'll go ahead and hold the dart for both the back and front with their linings respectively. Then I'll take my zipper and measure where I want it to reach on the back pattern so that I can stitch the remaining allowance. So my zipper allowance is 2 inches and I'm just using my chalk to mark where I want to sew. And I'll just sew down as you see me doing right now. I'll open it up like so. Can you see what we just did? And I'll bring the front pattern on it and make sure I align them so that I can sew the sides with my sewing allowance. I left 2 inches sewing allowance for the sides. So I'm going to join both sides with 2 inches sewing allowance now. guys this is what i have after turning to the right side so this is the back pattern and can you see the zipper allowance so this right here is where i'm going to join my zip so i'm going to do the same thing on the lining this is the lining i've joined the sides together with my two inches allowance too so after turning i have this right here So this is what I have for the back lining and main fabric. So this down part is where I'm going to be joining the basket design. And this upper part is where I'm going to be joining the band. But for now, let's work on the basket design. I cut a very long strip of the African print that I'm working with. And the width is 2.5 inches. So I'll fold 0.5 inch on both sides and later fold into half. As you can see me doing right now and I'll sew them together. I'll make sure to sew as much as I can cause I'll be needing lots of these stripes for the basket design. Moving forward, I have this and I'm going to iron them to make it more neater. So guys, this is what I have before ironing. 
Can you see that is a little bit rough? And this is what I have after ironing. Can you see it's more beautiful than the other one? So I've been able to sew this off the camera. If you will notice, I jumped one line before I sew each stripe. So that means I later used two by two for my boxes. Remember we used one by one before. So I discovered that if I use that one by one, the boxes will be too close to each other. So I'm going to place the stripe like this and sew. I'll make sure to skip one column before I sew another stripe as you can see me doing. So as you can see, I'm going to skip one line before I sew another stripe of my African print. So just to make sure they are not close to each other. When I get to the end part, I'll cut out like so. And I'll continue like that till I finish the whole column. Hmm, so bodies, see this beautiful design. It's so lovely and I can't wait to rock this. This is the upper part where I'll be joining the rest of the skirt and this is the end of the skirt. Just place the stripes like I'm doing to close the rough edges on the hem, but I'll do that later. So for this upper part, I'll fold it into two equal halves and notch the middle. This is the rest of the skirt. I'll open the zipper allowance side like so. So guys, I have opened it like so and I'm just going to fold into two equal halves and get the midpoint and I'll also notch. And I'll also make sure I repeat the same thing to the lining. So what I'm going to do now is to put the basket in between the skirt's main fabric and the lining and I'll hold them down with my clips. I'll make sure the notches are aligning with each other. Then I'll go to the sewing machine and sew it with half of an inch. I'm doing this because I want a neat finishing. I don't want the rough edges to be showing on the wrong part of the dress. I also made sure that I turned the zipper sides with half of an inch. This will reduce my zipper allowance from 2 inches to 1.5 inch. So whatever you use for your zipper allowance is going to be short of 0.5 inch if you use this method of sewing. So now the next thing for me to do is to turn to the right side so that we can see what we have. So as you can see this is what I have after turning to the right side. So after arranging, this is what I have. Can you see that? Can you see the zipper allowance? And right now, the next thing for me to do is to start removing the paper gently. My lovely soul buddies, if you have watched this part and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, kindly do that now. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. By doing this, you are helping my channel to grow and it gives me encouragement to post more videos. Thank you.
After removing all the papers, the basket design is now out and you can see that it's so lovely. So can you see why we removed all the sewing allowance on the basket parts because it is not needed. So now I'm just going to go ahead and close part of my zipper allowance so that I can add the zipper to the rest of it and also my band. So guys, now the next thing to do now is to work on the band. So as you can see, I'll just turn to the wrong side like so. And can you see the zipper allowance? So I'll just go ahead and close a little bit of it so I can add my zip. So to the band, this is the front and this is the back. The back is in two piece because of the zipper. So I'm going to be arranging it like so, making sure the sides are touching. And I'll sew each side with two inches seam allowance that I left while drafting. I'll repeat the same thing to the lining. I prefer to use same fabric for the lining too. You can add a little bit of interfacing if you like. So guys, after joining, I have this. I have joined the lining or also interfacing to the main fabric. And I used iron to fold half of an inch on one part of it. So that it can be easier to join and it will be neater to join to the skirt. Yes, so buddies, did you notice how curvy the band is? It's going to hug the waist very well. Reason why you should not cut your skirt band in a straight form. Can you see how the band is going to fit into the skirt? So guys, after joining the band, I fixed the zip too. And here is what we have. Can you see the neat finishing? Even if you don't have a serger, you are good to go. So guys, I'm just going to embellish it with these rhinestones to give the basket part more beauty. Thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!